Hey guys, so today we are making a Black Panther Bay cake. B A E before anyone else cake. Is that the song that I'm giving this kind of cake? <laughs> Chadwick Boseman and Lupita Nyong'o are bay. I love them. I love this movie and I'm just I'm so happy that this is a thing. So let's get started. Now to create this cake, the first thing I did was draw a picture. I took my basic bay shape. I actually had to draw this twice because I created this Civil War suit and then they changed it for this one and so I had to update my drawing. This one's really cool, I love his new suit. Now to create this cake, I'm starting with a purple vanilla cake. I'm just placing my bay shape on top of it and cutting away the excess with my trusted sidekick, the one and only, the one the one of several Ikea knife. So this week I started selling merch and I was gonna put an Ikea knife on one. <laughs> and then I did it and I was like, I would never purchase this. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull away the excess cake and reveal the bay shape. Now I'm gonna cut this in half using my Wilton's cake divider. Thank you, Wilton's. You to you the best. Now I'm gonna remove the first layer of cake with my Wilton's cake lifter. Thank you. And it just reveals this amazing like purple color. What color is this? Where are my cards? And this is like a classic waltz color. Can you do the classic waltz? Hold the woman here and then here. And then you do the shimmy like that. I'm a professional dancer, you guys. You can trust me. Now I'm gonna place this onto my cake Santa, and I'm just gonna add some buttercream into the middle. Oh, and I don't like the way I'm squeezing this buttercream onto this cake. Gosh, it looks like amateur hour. <laughs> now I'm just gonna work my icing around with my offset spatula. This is leftover cream cheese frosting. I've yet to find a situation or a cake that cream cheese frosting cannot help. Mary Poppins is like a spoonful of sugar. How about a spoonful of cream cheese? <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add my next layer of cake, and then with my trusted sidekick, I'm gonna start carving away at it. This knife, like, holds it down. You know, I don't have many friends I can trust, but you know what I can trust? My Ikea knife. <laughs> now, one of my favorite things about the new Black Panther movie is his suit. I love the suit that his sister invented. It is just incredible. There's just, like, this purple technology that makes it so that it appears on his body. I need that. This whole putting my shirt over my head to get it on, that needs to be a thing of the past. I'm too lazy, it just needs to appear on me. Now once I finished carving away the perfect shape, I squirted on another layer of cream cheese buttercream. Look at the difference in these squiggles. This one looks like you're right-handed and you're squiggling with your left. What? Now I'm gonna spread out my buttercream with my offset spatula and just give this baby a crumb coat. The crumb coat keeps all the crumbs on the inside of the cake so that there's no crumbs like spilling out, hanging out. And I even just adjusted all of the different areas that I kind of messed up on. This crumb coat is kind of like, like a waist shaper. The waist shaper of cakes. <laughs> It just fixes everything so no one sees <laughs> word vomit coming out of my mouth. Now once I finished with the crumb coat, I placed this in the fridge to chill. And while it was chilling, I was watching the Bake King TV cake channel. This guy is a monster when it comes to cakes. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check him out. His cakes are insane. He made a Conor McGregor cake. How you do that, I don't know. Some people have been calling me Nino Prodigio. But that's not me, that's this guy. If you watch a lot of his recent videos, it's just him and the cake baking process with music. And if you watch his Greatest Showman cake, then you know how passionate he is about that film and the music. If he decided to vocalize why he loved what he loved about that movie, then he would totally have like a million subscribers already. He only has 2,000? What? That blows my mind. I love this guy, go subscribe. Now it's time to start creating some decorations. So I rolled out some black fondant and I rolled it out probably like two hours before I started cutting it. That way the top of the fondant has time to crust and it's easier to cut. Now I cut my drawing up and I just placed it on top of the fondant and then cut it out using my X-Acto knife. It's so much easier to cut the fondant when it's set. And after I finished cutting out the head shape, I just repeated that process with all of his features. 
Now, all of this footage is shot in reverse. I, I feel like I have to tell you that because some people are like, how do you get it like in the perfect place? And the truth is I just put it all on the plate and then I just take it off. And so when you play it in reverse, it looks like you're putting it all right on perfectly. That's YouTube magic, you guys. Now I'm gonna cover my entire cake with a large piece of purple fondant. And this color is a little different than the classic Waltz. It's more of a just a fairy tale color. <laughs> I like that name, that's a good name. And I'm covering this in purple instead of black because I want the purple to be peeking through all the black pieces of fondant that we created. I find this to be like really satisfying. You know, it's the same shape as all the other cakes. And so I'm kind of just going through the motions, not actually having to think about anything and just using my hands. I used to customize action figures, but I decided that I'm just gonna take all of the different aspects I like about customizing action figures and try to apply them to this. So this is almost like an edible action figure that you can't play with. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to. Oh, like, and my, this is my favorite part of the cake. Look, and boom my big old head. I wanna make sure that the right and the left are even on both sides when I'm adding the different fondant pieces so my head has to get in the way and just, I just have to look and make sure that it is. Otherwise this wouldn't look nice. And it's funny because before I used to really like get mad at myself for having my head show up in the shots. You know, Tastemate is not gonna want you if you're not super professional. <laughs> but when Katy Perry was promoting the song Bon Appetit, she made one of those overhead Tastemate videos and she was like making a pie. So if Katy Perry's head can show up in that video, then my head can show up in all of my videos. But now I'm just like, whatevs. It's cool, this video's still gonna be bomb AF. Now when I was placing on the black fondant, I kind of left it out <laughs> way too long. So some of the pieces started to crack when I was placing them on, but you can't tell in the video, so I'm not even gonna point them out to you. <laughs> Imagine if all of your clothes could appear on your body the way that the Black Panther suit does. I would be wearing pants right now. <laughs> Now after I finished adding all the black pieces of fondant, I started to add on all of the silver detail. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hello guys, welcome to my store. This is my store, my name is John, and I made a store. I hope you enjoy some of our new products, including this unicorn cake t-shirt. Wow, so fancy. And one of the most requested items, a niño and niña prodigio. Pro prodigio. 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 Niño prodigio. Niño prodigio. Oh, I'm sorry, I feel like they're gonna arrest me for butchering the language. <laughs> I'm gonna start adding all the smaller detail, and the smaller the detail, the harder it was to cut. Especially these diamond shapes, because I wanted to make sure that they were even on both sides, and some of them aren't, but that's all right. I love all the different layers of fondant on this cake, even though some of you are like, oh, there's too many. <laughs> But I love the purple peeking through the black armor and all of this gray silverish detail. And then we got the cat ears. Look at these kitty cat ears. All of his facial gray details were super hard to cut because they were long and thin pieces. And I had to make sure that the right and the left side looked the same. Now the eye and the nose piece were supposed to be one long piece, but I couldn't do it. So I ended up just creating three separate pieces and then joining them together. Now I'm gonna add in the Black Panther's eyes and voila, T'Challa at his cutest. I love this cake, I love this movies. I didn't talk about it that much because I didn't want to include any spoilers. And all the things I talked about were shown in the trailer. If you haven't seen Black Panther yet, what is wrong with you? This is a global phenomenon. You need to get your life together and you need to go to the movies now. Now I'm curious, if you have seen Black Panther, what did you think about it? What did you think about Wakanda? Miss Shone from The Walking Dead, I don't even know the actress's name, she blew my mind. And make sure you hit the notification button so you can see all of the cakes that I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can get updated when a new video comes out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Peace!